Okay, my people, you're welcome back to Critics News on another edition. I already know how we take the do. I'm sorry, as you take see the matter soon, and so we take the talk. Um, let's quickly go straight to the main reason why we are here today. Okay, and um, I'm going to show you uh, a video of one of our sister who is crying. This video might be a little bit long, but I want to explain th uh, the horrible things going on in Imo State against our people. And on the same note, I want to um, also draw your attention that uh, the unknown government have visited a police station in um, Anambra State. Okay, and they killed an um, inspector there. Abi, yeah, I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I'm correct. All right, let's see. They say unknown government attack Anambra police station, kill officer. Hmm. This is the latest um, attack so far after a while that we've... Um, you know, not heard from the unknown government. Uh, maybe they went on break. I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't really get it. Because uh, the army is cracking down everywhere. Police and all the rest of them. Anybody now they see is an unknown government. That is how they, are. they have killed 600 youth in Imo State in 49 days. Hmm. This is horrible and continuing. They are still killing, her, even as I speak to you right now. They say the incident is the latest in what appears to be growing trend of attacks on police stations and security personnel. Unknown government have attacked Ojoto police station in the Demili South local government area of Anambra State. Sahara reporters gathered that the government in three Toyota Siena vehicles struck on Thursday and killed one police inspector. Mm -hmm. The incident is the la uh, latest in what appears to be uh, a growing trend of attacks on police stations and security personnel in the southeast region of the country, Zoological Republic, Nigeria. The governors in the region recently announced the establishment of a joint security outfit codenamed Edubago to battle rising insecurity. What does Ebubagu do? Ebubagu does not do anything. Ebubagu is only uh, pointing hands at uh, families, at people, pointing hands to whoever that they don't like. Now, once they go to your house and say, oh, or maybe you've had problem with somebody who is employed as Ebubagu, what they do is to go and point hand at your doorstep or at your house and the police will come in, or the, the army, and the DSS will come in and kidnap or abduct the person and kill the person. That is how we got to this uh, strange figure of 600 people in 49 days. Imo State is really under siege, to be sincere. Now, an a sister um, cried out and said that, hmm, that they have killed his brother and tagged him on Nongo men. This is very bad. This is what the Nigeria police is uh, doing in Imo State. And when one of them goes down by crook or by uh, uh, crank, uh, take it like that, or whichever way God wants to deal with the, the foolish police, you say, oh, they are killing police. So look at the number of the um, innocent youth that the police have gone down in Imo State in collaboration with the Army, Navy, all the forces in Nigeria. This is what you people are doing. A day of reckoning will come. A day of reckoning will come. And all of you, none will escape it. Now, let me play you a video of our sister when she was crying bitterly about the killing of her brother. It is getting out of hand in Imo State. And some people need to answer for it. Okay, let's see. This is uh, the, the lady here. She was crying that the, uh, the brother has been killed by the Nigerian police. Let's see. My people, fellow Nigerians, I don't know what to say right now. I don't know where to start from because since yesterday morning, I have cried my eyes out. I don't know how to prove the innocence of this young man. But I remember yesterday. I remember yesterday I escorted them myself. Umaka in Ninja Baloka government area. Then 
entered over a bus. They were going back to Abba. And he called me that they were stranded. Where they call Avani Koko. I said, come back. Don't go. He started looking for my brother because they were two. I don't know that when the army people scared them, they ran. They ran and they separated their ways. I mean, my mother's first son and him came for my uncle's burial on the fourth, on the fourth of this month. <laughs> on the fourth, just on Friday, yeah. My uncle's burial finished and they couldn't go that day. The next day, my dad sat with the three of us who talked. They slept in our house. Yesterday morning, I saw them off myself at about 8 o'clock in the morning. I called him to know where they were. He said they were stranded at Owere at Avan. He said, by Avan, the driver dumped them there. I asked them to come back. Come back. I was thinking he's coming back. Then I decided to say, yeah, come back. When I now called him on phone again, about 15 minutes later, his phone was ringing. He never picked from that 9 a.m. in the morning till about 3.40 p.m. in the evening, his line wasn't going. I become bothered, become worried because I know this is, this is not normal. My, my mom, my dad, everybody were like, maybe his phone ran out of his body. Maybe his, his phone fell off. I said, if he did, he has my number offhand. He has my brother's number offhand. He can call us and tell us where he is. This person is from Uguta local government where the, where, where they call Egbe. I have been with him. I know him too well. <laughs> when the call finally when somebody finally picked this call yesterday, the person told me that he picked the phone around the road. I should come to that side to call out the phone. I entered motor from my place on Lumaka and went to Oweri Oji Junction. The person said he is now at Imsu Junction. I came back and went to Imsu Junction. I met the person. Then I used gun and pushed me into a mo into the car and said I should come, follow them to the station. And the first thing they said was that, who is your husband among them? Your husband is a thief. We have killed him. I said, Jesus, it's not possible. The person I'm looking for cannot die. And before you know, they started showing me pictures and I saw him among those people that they were killed. <laughs> they killed him. Followed them to the station and I explained everything to them. And yeah, they are still telling me that if I they said Mr. If I is a non-government, is this how Nigeria is? My face have swollen, my tears are dried. Nigeria, you people are wicked though. Police, army. This is wickedness. Since you have do, done what you did, you have to release his call for us. His people want his call. He is not an unknown gun man or a man non gun. He came from my uncle's burial. He was going back to Abba when he was shot dead. I will send this picture to you people right now on Facebook. People will see that he's innocent. If he is innocent and he's a father of two children, a boy and a girl, <laughs> leaving them without a father. What is our work turning into? What is our work turning into, Nigeria? I've been tagging people rest in peace. Now it's my turn. It happened to me. I escorted them yesterday. They entered moto. He dashed me 2,000 naira and I went home to my mom because I traveled home for my uncle's burial. <laughs> Mr. Ifa is dead. I will send the picture. You people will see. This man I'm sending his picture is innocent. He came for my mom, for my daddy's, daddy's elder brother's bearer, which is my uncle. He came with us as a family, as a friend, as an in law. He came with us. He came with us. He's an innocent. People should release him for us. People should release him for us. So oh, his family are worried. His people are worried. His people are worried. This world is wicked. You push not be tagging innocent people on non men. You push not be tagging innocent people. IPO. You people should not be tagging innocent people. Such thing because God in heaven is watching. By the time his wrath will start coming upon you people, you people will not survive this. I don't get to know who is 
watching or looking at me. If you want to kill me, come and take my life. I am speaking the truth. Oh, you should release Mr. Ifai's cough. He is not an any or non government. He is innocent. If he is innocent, he came from my uncle's bed. I saw him off and he left. Ibu can do your investigation. I came to the police myself yesterday. Ibu refused to give me even his phone. It's not fair. God is watching. <laughs> I said I'm not going to cry in this video. But it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> Now, you get the point now. You get the point now. This is what the Nigerian police and army are doing to innocent people. Anybody they see, any young man. That is how we got to this round figure of 600 youth. 600 in 49 days. Which means that if this trend continues... Let's say in 100 days, we are going to have about 1,200 or 1,300 youth killed in Imo State. And it wants to be a new normal for Igbos in Nigeria. So is the genocide not going on? Which other threat do you want to hear? Which other war are you expecting? This is the people who wear uniforms. And you, you as a policeman, you will go home and sleep and wake up and go back to wherever you are working, wherever you are. We, you, we, or in the barracks, you go home, you eat with your own family, you go, you go, then you go back in the morning, you enter hillocks, you go street by street, house to house, arrest people, go stand by the road and kill people. Hmm. Anyways, uh, let me, let me not talk too much. <laughs> Let me not talk too much. I think uh, I don't know what to say anyways. Let me just keep quiet about that. They say Southeast over 600 youth killed in 49 days as federal government shift focus to IPOB employs secret abductions. Situation in Imo State is gruesome and needs urgent intervention. A genocide is unfolding before our eyes. The group said which is tallying with what this lady just said. Okay. They say the group also accused the federal government of unleashing a machinery group tagged on non government to justify military presence in the region. One word why we have not seen a similar response to areas uh, ravaged by Boko Haram or the notorious Hesme Mietiala, two of the deadliest terror groups in the world. They have not been tagged as terrorist group in Nigeria. And America, America is watching. America, Joe Biden and their likes. Donald Trump, you watched it. We talked about all these things. We were crying, but all of you out of your greed and evil envy, all of you kept quiet. At the end, you people will start writing rubbish and writing junks. Oh, we are we are world powers. We are concerned about uh, Christians uh, around the world. You people are evil. You Joe Biden. You people are evil people. All of you there. You claim to the United Nations. All of you are now blind and deaf to see who the genocide going on there. Why can't you send in a secret uh, investigation? All those your FBI, CID, and what have you to go and check what is going on. You stay in your homes and the envoy you send in uh, Nigeria, they collect bribe and they do whatever they like and report nonsense. Then go, the, 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 the failed government of Nigeria, we bribe them and then they will, you eat bribed money and you think you will survive. God will visit all of you with the, his rot. Nonsense. They say they, they, um, it is also sad that the Komato's leadership in Alaibu has again failed to protect the lives and property of Igbos. This is the handwork of Hope Ozodemma. Hope Ozodemma, you see what you did to this lady. You think uh, she's going to forget it in a hurry? Hmm. 
Their purpose in the region is highly questionable at this point. Perhaps the time has come to sack them all from office and hold them accountable for their failures, the group concluded. The military, which is also heavily involved in the crackdown, regularly sets homes of suspected IPOB members ablaze when they meet their absence. Do you now do you now see? Okay, this one is suspected. Now, when you get to someone's house, while uh, some saboteurs must have pointed that, oh, ESN stays there, then they go to that house and they don't meet anybody, they burn it down. In which country does this kind of uh, genocidal attitude and acts happen? Only in Nigeria. They say Alibu political leadership awareness said that apart from the 697 killed, about 294 youth have been confirmed missing. That is, oh, this is a 697, almost 700. Then 297 youth are missing. We don't know their whereabouts. It added that at least 15 Igbo youth are killed daily by security agents, army, police, air force, and navy. They kill at least 15 people on daily basis. It's a, 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 a killing spree. A killing spree in Imo State. Ah, oh, God. They, have, they, they are dragged out of their homes, student hostels, tagged IPOB members, and summarily executed or carted away to Abuja, where they are dehumanized. They harvest their organs in Abuja. This is, I don't know why we, we don't, I don't know why. This Igbo, Igbo, our own Igbo, eh? Ah, oh, God. I believe like I say we don't deface self. Eh? Because these things are not supposed to be happening. With all the ideas, with all the brains, with all the our traditions that we have. Okay, with all the churches. We are praying now, let all these things stop. No way. Whenever you mention tradition, yeah, oh, leave Christianity. And don't talk of Christianity here. How far? Can you do this uh, to the Ndimo? Can you do this kind of nonsense to the olden days people? They will invoke their powers on you and you perish in a minute. But how far today? You people, some of you has been brainwashed so much that uh, once you go to a uh, church, it is over. Now, Fulani has come to invade you. Are you going to keep your arms folded? No is the answer. You must do something immediately. All right, let me continue. They say till date, none of them taken to Abuja has returned or being heard from. The current situation in Imo State is gruesome and needs urgent intervention. A genocide is unfolding before our eyes, the group said. The group okay. The group also accused the federal government of unleashing a missionary group tagged on non government. What am I saying? Wow. They say also said that uh, security insiders who didn't want to be named said that part of the new security measures includes a major shift in media coverage and public statement from the president presidency elevating the security issues in the southeast to a height more threatening to the country than banditry and ice swap operating in the northwest and northeast. Where are our aiders? Ohane Zindibo have not issued any single statement. We are our brothers, those people that are uh, um, uh, militants. We are they? Or you want to wait for the uh, blood of the Imolite to be sacrificed, the Ibos to be sacrificed to save the, the, the other people, to save the other people. It doesn't work like this. So I never see this type before. They are going to carry go. Mm -hmm. They say the insider said that um, of a threat of a possible breakup of Nigeria owing to IPOB activities and general acceptance by the Southeast populace has created panic in Abuja and in the diplomatic circle, adding that Buhari does not want to take chances with the situation. According to, he, to them, the federal gov government cannot, can condone criminal elements and terrorists like bandits, full and Hesmen and ISWAP, but not IPOB, which has the potentials to break up the country. On the field, security agencies are moving from home to home in major southeast cities 
and towns arresting suspected IPOB members. Those whose public invasion of their homes will draw public attention are secretly abducted. The findings showed. Okay, this is what they are doing in the southeast. Killing killing spree on daily basis. They can something needs to be done. Oh. Something seriously needs to be done. Oh. Because these people <laughs> so very serious. Okay. When, okay. Tell me what you you think. Tell me what you think we can do to these security agencies. They have all the guns, they have all the bullets that they can use to shoot anywhere they go to, and they are ju doing juju at the same time. And you are entering another man's land because there is no security there. There is nothing like uh, or the gods of the land. Because we have these things in the past that, uh, that guide the land, that you will not allow you to to be doing evil but now we have thrown them into the gutter we will see three old tree you say oh is the in the tree is a witch you go to europe you see those trees being uh, uh, um, recognized they do their rituals they have which day africa they came they you dropped everything and follow how far today they are the same people the british are the same people sending this evil terrorist full and his men to come and kill everybody through their bookie people in the north. That is what they are doing. But uh, they brought Bible. The same people, they couldn't even give the Bible to the people that are killing us. They brought it to us so that you drop your guard. And today, uh, what, is our, what is our stand? We are standing like rams to be slaughtered. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Something needs to be done. We can't afford to be losing 700 people in 49 days. 15 people on daily basis for no reason. <sighs> May God help us anyways. I will see you guys on the next one. Honestly, my spirit is um, not uh, smiling. Look at this, my sister here. I know the kind of pains that she's going through. It's sad. It's sad.